what is encapsulation we can use here an example of mr joe writer he is going to work on his computer writing something on his papers so we will discuss what actually happens when the information from his pc goes on tcp ip protocol stack what actually happens when it passes through that stack so tcp and network protocol consists of application layer transport layer internet layer and network access layer we can look at what happens when the information passes through this stack he would be writing manuscript which we will be going to send it to an editor the manuscript is a data in the application layer because the information is very large so we have to divide it into a three chapters these three chapters constitute constitute in a transport layer and they are called as segments so we will number these as chapter 1 chapter 2 and chapter 3 these are in sequence because when the information is transmitted so if these arrives in out of order state so we can put them back in an in order state we can also want to find id from which the program was made with like words writer pro and others like client's license for example 1234 ab all this information corresponds to a port number and all this together called as a transportation header suppose we take one of these segments and it put it into an envelope in the envelope we add information like building address and others we also add who sends it who receives it which is equivalent to a destination network address or source network address which togetherly constitutes an ip addressing that becomes how do we get to that building or how do we get to that network we also want a routing information the routing information is to find the shortest path to destination network this information makes up the internet layer header suppose if we want to send it to an id specific people right if we want to send it to a mr p editor so this all comes in a network access layer which is consisting of a destination physical address and source physical address which is also known as mac address and ethernet we can also have like how many pages we want to send like if we want to send 67 pages then at receiver's end it should contain a 67 pages this all comes in error checking and with this information this makes up the header and the trailer header is the beginning of the information and trailer is the end of the information now it's ready to send so joe writer puts the letter in a mailbox and then a postal truck comes along and picks it up and all these are equivalent to atm frame relay protocols and uh, they are on the road that could be a optical fiber and twisted pair cables or it could be a satellite communication too so we could have lots of different media for the transmission let's have a summary about it encapsulation each layer adds a header and an optional trailer to the information from the preceding layer we all started from the application layer where the application data that was manuscript was broken up into a three segments and that was consisting of a transport layer and we named it in a sequence so that if the transmission is out of order so we can get back into an in order
on each one of these segments we add a transport header in that all the segments will be sequenced it would be having a destination and a source address with a port number then to this data more information is added by adding a internet header which will have a source and destination ip address and routing information too about how do we get to that network then the network access header is added which will be having a destination and source uh, physical address in form of a mac address and ethernet and network access trailer will be consisting of a uh, error checking methods so in this way a data is being preceded and succeeded by the number of headers of the different layers and in this way an encapsulated data is passed from transmitter to a receiver and the tcp ip protocol works in the same manner